TikTok and CapCut has been banned in the US. And if you've used CapCut before, you will love Final Cut Pro 11. You can edit videos completely for free and even save videos on it without an ugly watermark. Also, this video is not sponsored in any way. First is go on to Google and type in Final Cut Pro 11. And you're gonna go ahead and go to the first page here, or you can just type in trial and go here. <laughs> Final Cut Pro for Mac, free trial. Also, FYI, this is only for Apple computers, but you can get this completely for free. You don't have to pay whatsoever. So you just click the download now button. I'm gonna show you in real time. You can see it's now downloading in real time. And then you just double click this to open the application, just drag it into your applications folder, and then you can open up Final Cut Pro. So this is what I'm gonna be using, and this is a really long clip. So I'm I'm just gonna make a cut, right? And let's pretend like we're gonna switch to a B-roll shot or something entirely different. You're gonna press Command B, okay? And this will split your clip where this playhead is at. So press Command B, or you can go over here to this uh, tool section and you can actually switch the tool. So right now it's on select, which is A for the shortcut. I'm gonna go to B for the blade tool and then you can see it turns into like scissors. Click on this once and this will split your clip. Now that I have that, I'm gonna delete this clip here or I can leave it if I just wanna add a clip in between. Just go over to the clip that you wanna add, which is, uh, let's say we wanna add this one just for an example. I'm gonna drag this in between those two clips and now it's just going to play just like that. Super simple stuff, right? I'm sure you guys already know how to do that. So if you wanna trim the video, we just go to the end and click and drag inwards to make it shorter. Now, let's say we wanted to add a transition between here. It's a very straight cut and it doesn't look too clean in my opinion. What you could do is actually use some transitions. You could either use Use the built-in free transitions that uh, Final Cut Pro provides for you by going over to the transitions button over here and going to transitions and just cycling through any of these that you like. So you can go with like a blur and add a directional blur. Just make sure that your clip is long enough. So this one's not long enough right here. I might want to like trim this down so it kind of works with this clip. So let's pretend it's like that and we can and we're able to add a transition. Just drag it right here in between those two clips and your clip will look just like that. If you want the transition to go in quicker, click and drag on the transition and move it inwards and this will make the transition a lot smoother like that okay if you visit the link in the description it will take you to my website where you can find really cool editing packs if you use my coupon code ktp-10 you will get 10 percent off your order now i like to use my own transitions for these and that's going to be from the luma swipe transitions editing pack that you guys can actually get from my website you could also get the free sample pack too you can just go to my website and go to the free sample pack section. And I have a whole bunch of really cool sample packs that you guys can try before getting any of my full editing packs. Now this is the full version that you would get in the actual pack. And you're gonna drag this in between your clips that you wanna add the transition to. Now you're gonna notice that if I push play, it's not like adjusted properly because this is a horizontal video that we wanna kind of make vertical. So in order to do that, just go to the crop button and you're gonna to go to the crop right here. Right now it's on trim, but go to crop and that's all you could do and just click done. So now it just goes to this here. Uh, but we have a whole bunch of really cool ones to get that look if you want. So you have this one, again, do the same thing, go to crop, go to the crop button here and then just click done and this should automatically crop the video to the size of our project. Now we have this one here. This one's really, really cool. If I just push play here and I switch this to that, it'll look just like that. And of course you can make this video go faster by pressing command R and clicking on this little uh, black line and dragging this inwards to make the clip go faster and then repositioning it in the middle between those two clips. So you can do something that looks kind of like this. Or if you want this effect to go longer, just drag it outwards and this will slow the video down. You can see it says slow by 51%, but feel free to use whatever you want. Like let's say we wanted to zoom into an area. Let's say we wanted to zoom into this area in this video and we wanted to zoom back out to the original size of the clip. What we're gonna do is press Command, Command B to split our clip. And we wanna make sure that the clip is right here. And then you're gonna go over to, by the way, you wanna make sure you have this snapping button enabled. This just allows you to get exactly right in the middle. Otherwise, you're gonna mess up your timing. So just make sure this is enabled. It turns blue when it is. And this just allows you to kind of snap this in between so it gets it exactly where it's at in the middle. And then we're gonna go over to the crop button right here again. And we're gonna go to Ken Burns. So I'm gonna click on one of those corners, click and drag inwards to make this smaller. I'm gonna zoom into this quite a bit to make it a little bit dramatic. We wanna start big and end small, so click done. So now if I push play, 
It's going to, of course, go all the way to the end because it thinks we're adding it to the entire clip, which is not what we want. So we're going to play it through. We want this to go to zoom in quite fast, but not too slow either. So right here, then I'm going to press command B to split this clip. And then I'm going to select this second clip, the following clip. I'm going to go over to the crop and just switch these around. So they're going to have this little switcheroo icon. So click on this. So now it's inverted. So now the green, what used to be red is now green. So it's going to start small and end with our full size clip. So click done. So now if I push play, it's going to zoom in and zoom straight out. But you're going to see it's going to, it thinks we're going to apply it to the entire clip, which is again, not what we want. So as we play it right here, I wanted to zoom out and end right there. So I'm going to press command B and now I'm going to turn this one off. So just go to crop and switch this back to trim and click done. So now it's going to look something that looks like this. And there you go. It just goes in and out between here and here is how long the zoom is actually going to take. All right. So let's say we want to blur something out of our video or censor it. It's very simple. So like, let's say we want to blur out her face. What you can do is just go to that point in the video that you want to blur it out. So I want to start it around about here. So press command B to split the clip. Then I'm going to kind of play it through and end it right there. Let's just pretend I wanted to blur just this clip here. Okay. I'm going to go over to the effects, go over to all video and audio, and you can actually search for an effect and you can just type in pixelate. So it looks like this. And if you click and drag this, you can drag this onto her face. So you can do that, or you can drag it onto the video itself. I'm going to drag it onto her face just like that. If you hold option, just click on this and deselect it. So it's only selecting her face. So that did a pretty good job. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click analyze. It's going to analyze forwards and backwards from that point that you're in the timeline from. Okay. Just finished the tracking. So now all I have to do is click done. Or if I go over to the inspector window, it will give you settings for the magnetic mass. So if I click feather, this will allow you to feather outwards. So it makes it the edges nice and smooth. I recommend doing that just a little bit, or you can feather inwards a little bit and that's fine. As soon as you click done, it's going to apply the effects. Okay. So I just had to render this for some reason. It kind of glitched out on me. So now you can see it applied the blur just to her face, which looks great. You can still see her though. So under pixelate, you're going to have amount and this controls the strength of this particular effect. So if I increase it, it's going to increase the pixelated effects. So now if I push play, it's going to look like that, but you have so many other ones here if you want to use those too. So if you want to change or add color to your video, it's very simple. So let's say we want to adjust the color or the filter of this video to make it look a little bit different. You could use the built in LUTs that Final Cut Pro provides for you by going over to the effects. And if you go down, you have the color category first. So this just allows you to add specific color effects that you want to change. So you could actually drag the color board one. And if you drag that onto your clip and go over to the settings here and you click on this over here, just click on this little diamond icon and this will take you to these settings. You can change the color, the saturation and the exposure or like brightness and stuff like that. I like to use my own color LUTs that I have from my website, click and drag the custom LUT onto your clips. You could also apply this onto photos and go over to the video tab right here under effects and change the LUT to any of these. I've already imported them, but you're going to go down to choose custom LUT, click on this. So here are all the LUT packs that I have from my website that are currently on sale. So I'm going to go with the cinematic one just because I think that's the most popular that's on my website. I can either click and drag and import all of them or I can select a single LUT. So I'm going to add the aquamarine. I'm going to click on open. And this will just immediately apply the LUT. So now you don't have to do anything. You can see how amazing this looks. It just adds a nice kind of greenish teal to this video. So all of these are the ones I've already imported. I'm going to show you what they can look like. So this one is the ASAP Rocky LUT from the artist LUT pack. So this just entirely changes the video. As you can see, it makes it way more cinematic, but you can do like this one. You can do Atlanta sky. You can do Brent Faya's look. You could do a Drake look, which kind of fades out the colors and makes it a little bit more dark, more moody. So if you are a fan of LUTs and you don't want to take time at all color grading, then this is the pack for you. So be sure to visit my website where I have all of my LUTs listed. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did enjoy this video, if you could leave a like, that would be awesome. And I'll catch you guys on my next video.